Is there a conflict between science and the Christian faith? Some people say yes, some people say no. And I'm joined today by Dr. A.J. Roberts, who is a virologist and a molecular biologist and a Christian to help me unpack that question. A.J., you know, when I look at this whole idea of a possible conflict between science and the Christian faith, a lot of times I don't think it's the scientific evidence that fuels the conflict or the perception of the conflict. It seems to me that there are very real philosophical considerations. Uh, you know, for example, there's this idea called scientism where science is the only way to discover truth. Um, help us uh, understand how an idea like scientism could, again, fuel the conflict between science and Christianity. You're right, Fuzz. Uh, scientism is basically uh, a philosophical position, a philosophical starting point, and it has two basic assertions. One is that science is the only path to knowledge, and the second is that matter or matter and energy are the fundamental realities of the universe and there's nothing else. So scientism, the philosophical commitment, basically states at the onset, it rejects the idea of the supernatural or the immaterial or anything beyond the physical material universe. And so that's, that's really a philosophical statement, a philosophical position, not a scientific position. Science is actually a method or a set of methods that helps us explore nature, its structure, its form, its function, the processes and mechanisms that underlie the natural world. And yet scientism, the philosophical position that that's the only path to knowledge, uh, takes science and extrapolates the method into a view of reality that says that that which we've determined scientifically is all that can be determined of reality. And so scientism really sets itself up as science, but it's really a philosophical position. So then help us to connect the dots because I can begin to see how this idea of scientism now could create this perception that there's a conflict between science and Christianity because scientism denies those ideas that are central to Christianity. True. Um, so one thing that scientism does is it basically says a priori you know, you can't bring the supernatural into the conversation. Uh, it's just not real. And yet the, the alternate philosophical starting point, the ones that Christians would embrace, is that you know, there is the natural world and there is the supernatural world. There is the immaterial world that is as real. But science has limitations. It can't actually measure the things that are true about the immaterial or the supernatural world. And so really, as someone who's espousing scientism is misapplying science. And so that's part of the conflict, is that there's this co-option of what science is to try and win a philosophical point. Part of the other uh, side of the conflict is that many people will look at the, the scriptures, which are the basis for Christian faith, and they will say, if I read this literalistically, this seems to directly contradict what we discover or what we believe to be true about the natural world based on our scientific understandings. And so the conflict doesn't just come from the side of scientism, but it also comes from taking the scriptures too literalistically and, and saying that science isn't a reliable source of knowledge. So what happens then if there is a genuine conflict between what science uncovers and what we think scripture is actually saying about the natural world? That's a great question. Uh, I think it actually requires a lot of hard work. You have to re-examine what you know scientifically and what assumptions you're taking into the interpretation of the scientific data, but you also have to re-examine what you understand to be true about theology based on scripture and have you been reading scripture correctly. Uh, so you have to reinterpret what you understand about the natural world and you have to be willing to reinterpret what you understand to be true about the spiritual world also to find resolution between the two. 